Once you decide that you want to make sublimation tumblers, you have to decide whether you're gonna use a convection oven or a mug press. If you've been trying to figure out which way to go, hit the like button and let's get started. I, like most sublimation newbies, started with a convection oven because it seems cheaper and easier to get started with, so that's what I did. Now we are a year into this whole sublimation thing and I wanna talk about the differences between using the two and why I use a tumbler press now. If you wanna learn more about making sublimation tumblers, getting started with sublimation, I'm gonna link a video in the top right corner as well as a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a sublimation tumbler. In this video, I'm really gonna focus on the differences between using an oven or a press so you can decide which way to go. If you are gonna go the route of a convection oven, let me tell you what supplies you're gonna need. First, you need a convection oven. You can get these from Amazon, Walmart, wherever. It's just like a regular convection oven, but you do want it to be separate from your cooking oven. You want it to be designated solely for sublimation. You're gonna need sublimation blanks, sublimation tape, masking tape, shrink wrap. I recommend silicone bands, heat gloves, and a small thermometer. Sublimation items in general require a certain temperature and pressure, and you need both of those for your designs to turn out. I think that's the hardest part with the convection oven is that you have to make sure that the temperature is correct and you have consistent pressure around your design. And that is the main thing that I struggled with when using my oven. You will see so many different people using so many different temperatures, times, systems, right? It's all seems a little bit different and really hard to kind of figure out what is going to work. So I tried them all. I tried all of the recommendations, all of the different things, and I want to share the most consistent method that worked for me. So the general process of doing a sublimation tumbler in the convection oven is to first tape on your design. You're going to do this regardless of how you heat or bake your tumbler. You want to make sure that your design is taped in place. And I always use enough tape so it won't move because if your image moves or shifts, you can get ghosting or a blurry image. The next thing that helps is some butcher paper and tape that in place. Before you wrap your tumbler in masking tape, you don't want the tape to touch the tumbler directly, so the butcher paper helps protect it. So you're gonna take your pieces of masking tape, pulling it tight and wrapping your tumbler to create some pressure. You can use any size masking tape. This is just a thicker one because it'll take less uh, pieces. And then the best way for me to get a consistent pressure is not with shrink wrap, it is actually using these silicone bands. I will link all of the materials underneath this video. And using these silicone bands just help get the pressure enough so that your image transfers properly. Not the easiest to get on, but once you get them on and cover your entire design with them, it is ready to bake. Again, I prefer this method over shrink wrap because I get more consistent designs. Then you can put your tumbler in the oven. For me, 385 for about five minutes was best, rotating halfway through. So can you get a convection oven to work? Absolutely. So many people do it and recommend it and like it. It was just very frustrating for me personally. I wasted a lot of tumblers, a lot of materials, and a lot of my time trying to get consistent prints. If you want to streamline the process of making good sublimation tumblers, I highly recommend that you get a mug press. Mine is from Pro World, this is the Trans Pro Plus mug press. I have another video with a whole review and all the specs and all the things that I love about it, but I absolutely love this press and my tumblers turn out perfectly almost every time. It is a lot more reliable for me to use this tumbler press knowing that there's a very, 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 very good chance that this tumbler comes out perfectly. The reason I like the mug press is that the temperature and the pressure is consistent around the entire tumbler, so it's easier to get a perfect design when you press it. There are two main differences when it comes to using a tumbler press, and both have to do with saving time. The first thing is, is prepping your tumbler to go in your mug press. You're gonna use a less tape and less effort to go from printing your design to baking your 
Tumblr. It's going to take you a lot less time and effort to get it ready. So you're saving yourself a lot of time and materials there. The second difference is that it bakes for less time. A tumbler in an oven is going to take, you know, four, five, six minutes, depending on what you figure out is your best timing. But in a mug press, it's going to take one minute. So you're going to cut down your production time by several minutes for every single tumbler. The process of prepping your sublimation tumbler to go into your mug press or your tumbler press is significantly faster. So all you have to do is wrap your design or tape the design like we did on the first example. It doesn't have to be a full wrap. I just do like three or four pieces of tape down the middle, I take care of my seam. In my next video, I'm going to show you exactly um, the steps to making a sublimation tumbler. So make sure that you watch that after this one. And then I go with three large pieces of tape one down the seam in right down the middle so that is has enough pressure there i'm going to do one around the top and pulling it as i um, attach it to the tumbler and one around the bottom it helps with ghosting and any kind of weird looks at the top and the bottom so i just have those three pieces of tape in about um 30 seconds, I'm ready to put it in my mug press. This is the Trans Pro Plus mug press, and I have an, a video of all the things that I like about it, but you're going to bake this for 60 seconds, and then it is done. So going the convection oven route is less expensive and easy to get started because you can pick up a convection oven at the store. If you wanna save time and ultimately money overall, it is a more expensive investment to go with the tumbler press, but you're gonna be saving a ton of time in your creation process. You're gonna be saving a ton of money on less wasted materials, and you're gonna be able to produce a higher quality product in less time. And all of that is very, very important. So you just have to decide which method is right for you. And if you wanna learn more about sublimation, the basics, how to convert your printer and set up your computer settings, I'm gonna put a video up on your screen right now that walks you through those steps.